Welcome everybody to my channel, my name is Caleb, and this is your first video in a 100 part series on JavaScript. Now, I imagine you're here for a reason. Maybe you want to learn to build websites, or maybe you're here for a class project, or maybe you just heard of JavaScript and you know people are saying it's cool and you feel you need to know it. <laughs> well, by the end of this series, you're going to have an intermediate to advanced professional working knowledge of JavaScript. You may have realized there's about 4 billion different video series on JavaScript, so what exactly makes this different than the rest of them? Well, first off, psh, I got sweet graphic design skills, right? <laughs> but the other two main things are, one, I wanna make this entertaining. I don't wanna bore you to death, that's not my main goal. I feel like that's most people's goals, but not here. And two, I actually wanna teach you why we're doing things and the reason behind the code we're typing. I've seen my share of JavaScript videos. Half the time I'll leave knowing what to type, but having no idea how to transform that into something useful for me. So this series is for the kind of person who really wants to understand the JavaScript language and not just wanting some code to copy and paste. Now before we dive in, I just wanted to give a special shout out and thank you to our sponsor of this series, Dev Mountain. Dev Mountain is a career-focused coding bootcamp with classes in person and online. So if you want help taking the knowledge from this series and putting that into practical application to get a career in the industry, check out Dev Mountain. If you do the boot camps in person, they have really good locations for housing at no extra cost. Even if attending a boot camp in person is not a possibility for you, they have classes that are online. So for example, if you guys are looking for a JavaScript based web development bootcamp that'll help solidify your career, check out Dev Mountain. And if you mention that you found their content through me, then you can get 250 bucks off. And if JavaScript development's really not your thing, then for one, what are you doing on this series? But <laughs> they offer classes in iOS development, UX design, and software quality assurance. So check out the link in the description, guys. It definitely help me out. And with that, let's talk a little bit more about what JavaScript is and why we would want to use it. There are a few things that JavaScript is used for that we're going to be talking about. The first one is for front-end web development. So JavaScript powers literally almost all of the internet, <laughs> and it basically allows us to have functionality like dragging and dropping, cool things happening when we click something, all kinds of stuff like that. So for example, here's a website, Google Drive. All the capabilities such as dragging and dropping and being able to have things pop up on the screen with options real nice and pretty, <laughs> this is all done with JavaScript. That's one of the primary uses. The other one is for backend development, and this is done with Node.js. So Node.js is basically a way to make a website functional. So JavaScript on the backend can access the database, it can manipulate data, and send that back to the front end through an API. Once you have a pretty good understanding of the JavaScript basics, you can pick up JavaScript frameworks. So so frameworks allow us to build more scalable web applications. Some of the common ones are React, Vue, Angular, and what these do is they basically simplify the web development process. Well, honestly, when you first start using them, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but <laughs> as you get going and start understanding how they work, it, it can help build more large scale applications. These frameworks can even be used to make mobile applications, not just a web app that you, you access through a browser embedded in an application, but we're talking native applications. So for example, there's something called React Native. So here's React Native, and you can use it to build applications that run natively on iOS and Android. Basically what I wanna show you guys here is that JavaScript is one programming language, but we can use it to build the front end of a website, we can build backend applications, and we can even make mobile applications with JavaScript. So by learning one language, you're able to do a lot of different things. If you're coming from a different language, you might think you know JavaScript because the syntax is very similar to something you might see in some of the other languages like C Sharp or Java. But let me tell you up front, JavaScript is not the same thing, and it's fundamentally different in the way it works and how the code runs. These are all the things we're gonna talk about through this series because I wanna make sure you guys have a real good understanding of how the programming language works. Some other things you guys should know throughout this series, there's always going to be useful information in the description, specifically a link to the sponsor, as well as a link to blogs on my website and a JavaScript crash course I'll be working on, which is basically going to take this information and condense it in a nutshell version for job prep. <laughs> By the time you're watching this, that course may already be done, but in the meantime, I'll leave a pre-order link in the description below if that's something you're interested in. You also definitely want to make sure you get new videos sent to you, so please be sure to click subscribe as well as click in the little bell notification button. Thanks guys, I'm looking forward to this series and in the next video we're going to get our first app up and running. It's going to be super exciting, so I'll see you there.